so thank you uh, first of all for inviting me it's a great pleasure to share the panel uh, with my colleagues uh, from the same industry we are from uh, anglian omega group uh, we have been in the automotive industry for uh, more than 50 years uh, the parent company is into steel and uh, auto components business so for us it is a big leap going into the vehicle manufacturing and uh, we decided to uh, get into the vehicle manufacturing with uh, the first product which is uh, the three wheeler electrical three wheeler so i'll just uh, share our uh, what was the motivation behind uh, us to get into this business uh, you know having been uh, in the industry for uh, myself more than 30 years we have seen uh, the auto industry in india taking shape especially with maruti and then the hyundai and other uh, you know makers coming in so uh, the ev as uh, amitabh and uh, you know others have rightly said is the biggest disruption probably we are seeing uh, in our uh, lifetime in the auto industry so this uh, uh, auto industry in india is also not going to remain untouched by the electric fabrication and our motivation is to uh, you know replace the low quality low durability and sometimes unsafe vehicles on the road and most of these as you know are uh, cheap uh, china imports from china etc and uh, we see these uh, these are basically uh, opportunistic business uh, models which uh, many uh, people have adopted and we would like to replace it with a high quality indigenously developed uh, vehicle so this is and uh, going forward to our vision we wish to become a fully integrated uh, vehicle manufacturer in electrical vehicle space with robust technology uh, i would like to uh, just elaborate a little bit you see we would uh, uh, you know we have started working on this for last uh, almost four, uh, four years and we have benchmarked the vehicle we have done the entire r&d and uh, research and development along with our partners and everything has been done in house right from day one we uh, focused on uh, developing a robust uh, a reliable vehicle which uh, you know can uh, be at par with the vehicle produced by an oem uh, so this is this was the motivation behind us and we worked with various partners on battery on power train and other uh, power electronics etc and uh, we are uh, we have a tie up with the battery manufacturer who is manufacturing in india and uh, going forward in the value chain we are also tying up with a, um, a partner for the uh, charging stations so it is all um, collaborative effort that we have adopted now uh, i'll take you a little bit on our journey we started uh, around uh, 2017 just about uh, years and a half years ago and first was of course identify the product and technology which was done through market research and map the product and technology metric based on that uh, we finalized the specifications and performance criteria basically capturing the customer voice then next part was benchmarking with what is there in the market prototyping and then uh, we tied up uh, with technology partners for the critical parts that i mentioned battery powertrain being one and then we uh, did the testing and validation so based on this the complete electric vehicle engineering the entire vehicle engineering was uh, done uh, in um, in more than 2 to 2 and a half years or so so then comes the you know the marketing part of it which is essentially the branding positioning pricing and uh, you know go to market strategy which is where we were in the beginning of this uh, year and we uh, displayed and launched our vehicle during the auto show unfortunately because of covid we uh, obviously had a break but now we are uh, ready to uh, you know uh, hit the market with our products so obviously um, uh, you know going to market uh, has to be done with a lot of preparation on sales service network creation and uh, we are also into the mobility solution business the entire business model is centered around the uh, service aspect we see ourselves as a service provider giving a mobility solution to our uh, customers so um, that is where we believe that scale will come today we are addressing a uh, a gap in the last mile 
tomorrow it could be personal mobility it could be uh, you know commercial space so whatever it is we would like to be a mobility solution provider and vehicle is a integral part of it manufacturing is a part of it and it is all manufacturing i mean uh, the business model is handled by uh, robust technology and it platform so this is where we come from uh, just to i mean um, we all know the problem today in the commercial space is the, uh, as far as e-commerce is concerned is the uh, last mile uh, connectivity as as on today the deliveries are done by either small trucks or two wheelers at the last mile the two wheeler uh, uh, rider comes with a big backpack on his back and then he delivers multiple rounds etc so we found that this is a problem where uh, three wheeler uh, with maneuverability and mileage etc and play a major role because all the uh, mobility issue and this being in the commercial space the uh, economic value that we provide is uh, going to be most important because it has it is a business earner uh, for our customers so that is where we focused on and we uh, worked on the uh, you know efficiencies and uh, using technology we worked on the cost per uh, kilometer etc so overall cost of ownership if you see it makes commercial uh, or economic sense to our customers so this is where we place ourselves so as i said our uh, business model is uh, comprehensive uh, mobility solution business we have a, a partner for our batteries and bms vehicles uh, we are doing ourselves we are going to launch a two wheeler a scooter we are in the final stage of testing etc before the end of this year we hope to launch it and after two years we would be uh, coming out with a pickup truck in the commercial space so this is our uh, vision in the charging station as i mentioned uh, we will work with some partners we are already in discussion and this is where uh, i think the government will have to play a role government or government agencies uh like fuel filling stations indian oil or uh, or whatever which who have the infrastructure because otherwise setting up a complete infrastructure on ground as you know in india is very expensive and it it is also very time consuming where because of various uh, approvals and uh, you know statutory licenses and issues so i think that uh, here uh, we will work with a partner and the mobility solution idea is all it is backed by a software it is all it driven platform which captures a lot of data on the space optimization the miles uh, mileage optimization etc and uh, we essentially uh, sell uh, cargo space to our customers it is a combination of uh, leasing uh, and subscription model wherein uh, the system picks up the uh, amount of space the cubic feet required for my customer then allocates the vehicle so uh, that is where we can economize and we bring in efficiency and end of the day uh, cost benefit uh, to the customer so overall just to summarize uh, we started uh, as i said about 3 years ago then we got funded and uh, uh, we have launched our three wheeler we have a tie up with the battery and power train partners next we will be launching uh, two wheeler and going forward will be a four wheeler uh, truck and uh, after three or four years hopefully we'll uh, launch our own power train so this is where we will we see ourselves as a complete uh, oem uh, into the entire ecosystem um, but everything we cannot do ourselves we don't have the you know the firepower or the knowledge so we will work with various partners and this is where uh, i think the opportunity are working is uh partners in india especially in the power train i do see that there is uh, uh, you know opportunities available because um, the ecosystem already exists if you talk about motors if you talk about electronics if you talk about uh, the uh, wiring wiring harnesses connected etc because even ic uses uh, these components so they have to be engineered and customized to the ev and uh, working with uh, such partners we can uh, you know get the scale uh, this is uh, our what our vision is so with this i uh, close uh, my presentation and i uh, you know 
hand over to you, Riyakshi. Thank you very much.